Hello, it's Mr. Toops, the Jedi I Believe. I'm sorry I missed this weekend, but as you can see in the background, I painted my office. I had to re-put all the picture frames back up. I re redid all the picture frames, so a lot of work. I still have a lot to do in here, so we'll, we'll get that done. Today, we're going to talk about uh, contentment, okay? Last week, we, walked, we talked about ways that in your life you can produce joy, and basically, that's centering your life on the needs of others. The more you do that, the joy inside you is increased, and that joy helps you get through bad times. Today, we're going to talk about contentment, which means that you're at ease with everything that's going on around you. Bad things can be happening, but the contentment that's produced in your heart makes everything seem okay, and you realize that this is going to be a momentary bad time, and you're going to get over it. Okay, so phrase 893 says, contentment is produced when you center your life on the needs of others. It's basically the same way joy is produced. So when you center your life on the needs of others, your needs actually become small in comparison. If you go to places like Texan or something and help special needs people, you will realize that, that the bad things you are going through are like, infinite compared to what other people have to overcome okay we experience this in leadership lamar take the kids out to school in the early summer and and they do service projects and they experience that that helping special need people is really a huge part of the community so the more you can do that contentment is produced in your life and the bad things that happen to you just they don't overcome you and you're content and it's everlasting, and that joy goes along right with it. So remember, make your life about others. Contentment will be produced, and that contentment will produce peace in your heart, and it will make the bad things not bad times seem not so bad. This has been Mr. Toops. It's Wednesday or Monday, April 6th. I hope you've enjoyed this message, and remember to always believe.